We can't hold it. Pull out every available brigade in the area and hurry. Right, sir. when he invented the BBC, didn't they? And they laughed at Mr. Paul when he invented Littlewood. But look at the money they've made. Yeah, but their inventions didn't stink. I you expect to put fires out with that washing day mixture of yours? Yeah. Washing day mixture? I like that. It's a scientific formula. It's, um, it's K2SO4 plus, uh, uh, plus K3LO5 yeah. plus, uh, plus X. Yeah, what's X? Yeah. Well, if I knew what that was, I wouldn't be standing here listening to you talking to him, would I? Anyway, it's, uh, <laughs> it's not what I tried to last time. Hello. <clears throat> this is Bishop's Wallop Fire Chief speaking. Who? Headquarters? Oh, oh, oh yes. uh, what's it, sir? Oh, no, sir, no. No, there'll be no fire here. No. This is no time for you, my sir. There's an oil factory blazing at Lake's Cross. Why haven't you answered the brigade call? Oh, because there's been no call here. You sure you've got the right number? Huh? It's ringing now? Oh, no. No, our alarm's not ringing. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, it's a technical issue now, then. Yes. Hey, we'll come along at once. We'll gallop all the way. Hey! Yes. How long has that sock been there? Oh, ever since you had insomnia. Well, that was last Sunday. Yes. Well, take it out at once. There wouldn't have been no fires this week. Oh! 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 There's a little fire somewhere. Yeah, of course there's a fire. There's been a fire for hours. And we should have been at it. Go get your helmet. Hey, who's had the hose? You had it, Lars, watering the garden. Well, never mind who had it. You won't get it now, but... Oh, Where's Percy? Standing by, I suppose. Well, don't think him in. We can't go to a fire without him. Oh, I keep your wall on. Give me a Yes, what's that? Oh, fresh orders. Oh, wait a minute, I'll take the blouse. 
Yes, what is it? I'm upon the demo there, yes. Found a streaky bait, yes. Whoa, 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 Somebody. Oh, don't be silly. We can't go to someone and say, where's the fire? Why not? Well, it looked bad. Here, here, I'll get it one. Oh, it's a big light. Hey? Well, I... Yes, sir. There's our fire. Goodbye, Charlie. Got the pictures? Here we are. We'll just make the lunch edition. Excuse me. This is the quickest way to the fire, isn't it? What fire? Well, the big oil fire. Been put out of hand again. What? Wait, did you tell me we've come all this way for nothing? All what way? From Bishop's Wallop. Oh, but that's only 12 miles. You... Only 12 miles? Good heavens, you see much farther than that the way we came. Charlie? Yeah. Get a picture. This'll make a great story. Okay, I'll go and get a plate. Hey, hey, about that fire. You better read about it. And don't go away. Oil factory blaze. Flames 90 feet high. 50 fire brigades take all night to 12. Oh, he's right. That put it out. Oh, we better go home then. Well, it seems a pity after coming all this way, doesn't it? Hey, look at this stop press. Maybe there's a little bit still burning. Yeah. Oh, oh, there's another fire. Yeah? Town Hall ablaze. Did you say what town hall? Yes, ours. Good. Yeah. Hey? Bishop's what a town hall ablaze. Yeah. Hey, we better go back at once. Come on, all hands to the paper. Take us away. I'll ring the bell. Uh, hey, you. Bring up Bishop's what? Turn it on the way and see you guys when we get back. Wait a minute. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Ah. <laughs> The engine that never got there. They are with the laughing stock of the whole country. Look. Our own town hall burnt under our noses. Thanks to this trio of blundering incompetence. Mr. Mayor, during the past six months, 17 of our valuable properties have been destroyed by fire. And what is more, there is no record of any of them having been put out. Uh, uh, objection. Uh, if they hadn't been put out, they'd still be burning, wouldn't they? That remark is out of order. Oh, oh, just a moment, please. I see there's one here that was put out. Oh, was it? Which one was that? A beach farm on the night of October the 1st. Beach? That's right. Don't you remember it came on the right? Uh, <coughs> yes, it's quite right. Beach farm. Even so, they still leave 16 properties destroyed by fire to say nothing in the town hall. This wasn't our fault. We were at another fire. Exactly. We can't put out two fires at once, can we? No, we've only got one square there. But you need without either fire, sir. That the mark's out of order. Oh, no, it isn't. Yes. Oh, is it? No. It's my one. Anyway, it's in very bad taste. How do you expect us to be efficient when you never give us any money for equipment? We gave you 20 pounds for equipment. Um, last June. Yes. For equipment? Oh, no, I thought that was a bonus. Uh, June? No wonder he went to Black Gold. Yes. Makes you think, dummy. Yeah. I propose to set the lot of them and save the town a hateful rate. There you are, a hateful rate. I mean, what sort of farmer do you expect to get for two a penny? Fifty measly quid a year to keep three men and a horse, and you're fitting the sack because we can't put out two buyers at once. I demand a vote. Yes. Yes. One moment, gentlemen, please. I think there is something in what Captain Viking said. Yes. I think we might give him one more chance. You're wasting your time, yes. sir. Oh, no, he's not, sir. It'll mean, Viking, that we shall draw the next part of the test kit. Quite, sir. We shall expect you to reach it at once and to put it out immediately. You can consider it out now, sir. <coughs> In the meantime, I would suggest you take a trip to London to study their latest firefighting methods. Uh, uh, London? London? London can't teach me anything. Why, with my invention, I, I can... Well, I think it would be a very good idea, Captain Viking. Oh, well, if you insist. <coughs> what day should we make it? Yeah, I can send it. We can see the cup tires well. Yeah, shut up. Uh, 
Um, let me see now. Uh, what about Saturday? I think that might be arranged. Oh, good. I shall want some money for three first-class tickets. Very good. Yes, and see that you buy on this time. Not one first and two platform tickets like the last time. That wasn't my fault. The booking clerk made a mistake. I asked for three platform tickets. <coughs> Five again. Forward. <laughs> Your purpose is applied. Now, this is the latest LCC type, Lehman. Oh, Lehman. Hmm. But ours is a much earlier model, although the uh, principle's the same. Yes. How I can use squirt. I beg your pardon? How I can use squirt. Uh, he means, uh, to what altitude can you project a jet of water? No, I don't. I mean, how I can use squirt. Under full pressure, this engine is capable of pumping 900 gallons per minute. Ah, 900, eh? Ah, that's not bad. Of course, there's just a few more gallons than our engine pumps. Yeah, nearly 900 more. I, I suppose, um, uh, what's the name, make quite a bit of money out of inventing a thing like this. Well, they seem to do very well out of it. Ah. Yes, <clears throat> I say, uh, uh, supposing a man invented a preparation that will put out a big fire, uh, like that one of H got, say, in 15 minutes. Oh, he'd make a fortune. Oh. Why, well, you know someone who's done it. Ah, uh, but I know someone who thinks they have. Hey, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, let it out, let it out. 
We've, we've got it round the wrong end. How can a pole have a wrong end? Well, this end's thick and the other end's thin. You see, we're trying to put the thick end up. Well, what difference does that make? Well, the difference of anything standing on its thin end. Stalk still. <laughs> and stalk standing on their thin end. What are you talking about? Thin end? I mean, you'll get one on your big end in a minute. Well, go on, help me pull it in. Right. We'll have to take it out the street and, and bring it in the other way around. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> back to you. Now, now, come on, now, back, back. Oh, dear. Oh, how did that happen? Uh, you wait here. Hey, hey. Oh, oh there you, you are. What do you think you're playing at? Are you in charge of this car? I am. What the devil do you mean by smashing my window? It's, it's entirely your own fault. Don't you know it's illegal to park outside a fire station? I love you summons for this. Police, police, oh, help. I don't, I don't, I don't. There's no need to be truculent. It's an accident. It doesn't happen to anybody. Now, what come out here? I didn't do it. Never mind who did it. Help me get it out. Yes, I... Woo! Who made that noise? Mice. Mice? Ah, oh, shut up. Hi, get that car out of the way. Oh, shut up. Hey, hey, you, you! Stop making that noise. This gentleman was here before you. Well, it's not you taking it back again. It'll be quicker to push it through. Push it where you like, but get it out of here. It's kind of dormant. Now, get it of it. Where is he? Hey, I like this. Yes, mine is in Holding all the traffic up. Go away, no way. Oh, no. Go away and play with it. Get out of it. Oh, come on, heave, and I'm a dupe. Come on. Now, it's no harder than that. Come on. Heave. 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 We're trying to turn our pole around. Oh, uh, with what object? Will you push off? Are you going to get this thing out of my car or not? Oh, that's all right. We're doing our best, aren't we? You know you're defeating your own purpose. Huh? I have it here. According to Proposition 5 of the second book of Euclid, if a straight line is divided equally and also unequally, the rectangle contained by the unequal parts and the square on the line between the points of the section are together equal to the square on half the line. Well, what's that going to do with me? Well, assuming the street to be the rectangle, by withdrawing the straight line, i.e. the pole, within the point of section, i.e. the china shop, the traffic may proceed. Q-E-D. Uh, well, shall I tell you something? Yes. You can proceed. Come <laughs> <laughs> well, on, let's get this thing in. All right, all right. It's very simple. All we've got to do is to take it in the china shop and let the traffic proceed. You stay here. Uh, come with me. All right. Now, you go inside and steer the other end. Right. Okay. Cut out the way. Ready, how about it? Yes, I'm ready. All right. Please. What's going on here? And, and what are you doing? I'm holding the end of this phone. What's that in the service? I said, watch it, not smash it. No, so this ends against the wall, but if you slew your end round a bit, I might get it through that door. How about you? Jump your end round to your left a bit. Right. You're watching something like me, Mum. Take my boat, turn on the other end. Touch one another externally, the straight line which joins their center shall pass from the point of contact. Yes, well, we've just done that. Oh, yes, I'm aware of that. But owing to the prescribed limits of the rectangle, i.e., the street being less than the inordinate length of the straight line, i.e., the pole, you're attempting to turn the greater into the left, which is absurd. The pole should be elevated to the perpendicular. QED. Can't do him. Certainly not. I'll do it myself.
coal and half in the first place, we wouldn't have had all those arguments with the insurance company. I still think it's a waste of time. Listen, my lad, if it's good enough for those swag pots in London, it's good enough for us. Yes, trying a bit of ivy. I've been to look every night. Ivy? What do you think we're making, a grotto? Yes. Go on, Albert, up you go and slide down it. What, me? Well, somebody's got to test it. Well, you tested it, your pole. Yeah, all right, all right. I'm not afraid of sliding down a pole. Mm, I don't wonder. You've been up one for years. Ha ha ha! Get out of it. Go on, get on with your dusting. Have you sandpapered that? Oh, yes, everything's smooth. Ah, right. Well, stand well back because I might make a fast landing. Hey, is that a nail? No. Screw. Do you mean to tell me you're going to let me slide down onto that? Wouldn't have hurt it, neither, bottom. Yes, <clears throat> that's just what I mean. Well, take it out immediately. Hey, you smell something, buddy? Hey, I'm on, I'm on. get your water, quick. The stone's on fire. Oh, oh, get it in the stone, buddy. It's now very fine. Well, get the fire extinguisher, quick. Oh. Yes, it's fine. <laughs> Hey, this cheese is a bit slippy, isn't it? Oh, hey, that's not cheese, it's soap. Soap? Yes. That's funny. That's right. <laughs> yes, no wonder I couldn't get a ladder this morning. I forgot me. God, miss, well, it's good job for you you didn't have a hot bath. It'll come out like a Welsh rabbit. <laughs> Well, we'll have to have bread and butter and beer, that's all. Well, as long as that cheesy washes neck with him, you fancy it. Well, if you had to catch them smacking them out with that pole of yours, we'd have been sitting down to a nice rabbit pie now. Yes, I... Yes, and duty comes before rabbit pie. If it's the last thing I do, I'm good... Good gracious. Woo! Oh. Hey, somebody else is falling over. Hey, looks like no Bubbles? Not likely. Bubbles taste like beer. Beer? 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 Hey! You realize what's happened? That bottle of beer you knocked out of my hand has dropped down under my formula! make arrangements as quickly as that. Give me your name and the details and the committee will write you. Yes. K2SO4 plus KCLO5 Yes. Plus X. X? What is it? Yeah, would you like to know, eh? <laughs> I suppose you'd like to jump in ahead of me and get your name on the packet. Yes, well, I'm not going to tell you. You put that before your committee and I'll supply the X. Yes. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Woo! Oh, oh. Hey, we're gonna be famous. It's about 
I've heard enough from the front page of every newspaper in the country. Ooh, like Garbo and Guinness. Yeah, Garbo and Guinness. Now, that's all you think about, women and wine. Oh. Hey, we have a Get it off, I tell you. Get it off, I tell you. on the floor, I tell you, man. Put the boat away, man. Fire Captain in? Uh, oh, well, that depends. I mean, uh, you haven't come on behalf of someone, have you? As a matter of fact, we have. Uh, oh, well, I'm afraid he won't see you. No, we haven't come with a red buddy. We've got a swell proposition for him. Oh, well, in that case, I am the captain. How are you? Cut the clowning and get the captain, will you? Oh, but I am the captain. <laughs> <laughs> Why, don't you believe me? Albert, Albert, Come here. Hey, tell these gentlemen what I am. What out, Lyle? Yes, sir. Hey, hey, no funny gags. Am I, am I not the fire captain? Oh, that. Yes, he is the captain at the moment. Well, I'm glad to know you, Captain. We're from the Gorms for a picture corporation. Oh. Uh, uh, well, we don't want to buy any pictures. We've got one upstairs. You don't understand. We make films, movies, pictures. Oh, I'd like to go on a picture. Yeah. Well, I stand in for the Seven Dwarfs. Oh, yeah. Hmm. We're not wanting any actors as yet. We're making an historical picture called The Conquest of Fire. And oh, I see. It's sort of a blazing through the eight. Exactly. Yeah. And we want your fire engine. Yeah. You want what? We want your fire engine. We'll give you a good price for it. Certainly not. We'll make it worth your while. I'll bet you would. Well, the idea is preposterous. You might just as well go to some packing station and ask for a couple of platforms. Okay, <laughs> if you can afford to turn down <laughs> real money. Oh, oh well, uh, uh, how long would you want it for? Oh, just a few hours. Hey, but suppose the fire alarm went while it was away. Huh. We can easily stop that. How? Put a stock in it. Uh, uh, yes. Um, you see, it's... Um, it's worth 20 pounds for it. Well, uh, there are a lot of other film companies after our engine, too, you know. Uh, all right, 30 pounds. Then. That's better. And now, and the balance when we take the engine. It's a deal. Uh. Uh, I suppose we couldn't have the balance now and the other 10 when you take the engine. I can see you're a businessman. All right, 10 pounds more. Can I have a receipt for it? Blimey, you can have the station for it. Hey, you speak when you're spoken to. Give me a piece of paper. How would you like the receipt worded? Uh, to hire a fire engine, 30 pounds. Uh, to hire a fire engine, 30 pounds. Received on account, 20 pounds. P.S. Uh, 10 pounds to come. There you are. Well, you better keep ringing me up every morning to see when you can have it. When we can have it? But we want it for tomorrow. Tomorrow? Oh, no, that's impossible. No, oh, I've got a very important demonstration to do first. Why are you double-crossing us? Uh, when did you figure on us having it? Well, let me see. Today's Monday. Uh, if I test my formula on Wednesday, you can have it on Thursday. Or till late Friday. Well, if that's the way it is, Cap. I guess that'll have to do. I'll phone you. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Goodbye. 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 Bye. Bye. Come on, dimmy up. I want my ten quid. Uh, your ten quid? Oh, I like that. Three's in the dirty, that's ten quid each. Come on, cuff up. I'll do nothing of the kind. Sorry, I haven't got thirty quid. I've only got 20. No, you've only got 10. That makes up square. Well, would you believe it? Yes, so you don't. Here, you here, come here. You'll have to wait till those gentlemen have paid the balance. Well, when will that be? Just as soon as they've tested my formula in London. Yes, but that might not be for months and months and months. Well, how many interest you'll get? What, what, what interest? Well, the interest looking forward to your money, you see. Yes. Well, I want to know it. Never mind, I don't want to hear. I'll get on with your sweeping. Yes, yes, that's all I do. Get on with your sweeping. Oh, pick on me. Anybody you think I was a boy? You were molded and had two put together. You always get the worst of it here. Me. You always have to drink out of the crack cup. Me. Who gets no fried bread in the morning? Me. Why don't you stand up for yourself? No use. You wouldn't listen to me. You wouldn't listen to me. I'm just a... Oh, a little oh, Cinderella. <laughs> well, we wasted six months trying to figure that out before. That'll be Hank. Open the gates. I tell you, it's the craziest stunt I've ever heard of. You said that about the bullion job at Hest. Yeah, but bullion and crown jewels are two different things. It's impossible, Chief. To start with, there's no way of getting in the tower. That's just it. There was no way, but I... To get it? As good as. There's uh, just a little matter of when we collect it. Great. 
We told them we wanted it for a movie. <laughs> they spotted it. Surely you never saw three goofier guys. Did you get a good look at the engine? It's identical. Where's the boat? The only difference is theirs has shafts and the tar engine has hand gear. We'll soon fix that. Show them to Derry here. He still believes we can't do it. I still don't see. Now, this, in the case of a fire in the tar, this engine is allowed to go in and out without question. And 20 minutes is all we want. Underweight and a half of soap, 14 gallons of K2SO4. Yes, hand me up another dozen. Thank you. Oh, you know, this have been cheaper. We'd have bought it by the barrel. Oh, don't talk nonsense. Something's back on every bottle. Look at all those empties. Good as money in the bank. Six, eight, ten. Oh, that reminds me. What about my tenner? It's Friday now. I can do with a bit on account. <laughs> You'll get tuppence on account if you don't shut up. What I want to know is, do I get my dinner by Saturday or don't I? You don't. Oh, all right. And I've been venturing don't work, see? Cool, there's a friend for you. Putting a curse on it for a measly tenner. Hey, put that down. I can't get paid one way. I'll take it another for there. You get up there and cut some soap. Go on. The knife's on top. Hurry up. Cut some soap. I seem to do it. I'll slice it up quickly. I don't make the lumps too big. Mm. If this knife slips, I'll cut me throat. Well, if you do, lean back and don't muck up my formula. Hey, is it full? Is it? Good. Well, that's that. Yes. Now we're going to have some package for my new turnout apparatus. Turnout apparatus. <laughs> Just a lot of junk. Junk? You ever fell into my patent harness, Clopper? It's more like a pawn bag of shop to me. Uh, listen, I'm fed up with you two, Grumbling. You're going to use that gear and like it. We'll have a package turnout now. What, now? They'll be open in ten minutes. Oh, let me. The only turnout you understand is time, gentlemen, please. Go on, follow me. Well, here we are. Now, then. I turn the wheel, the horse box opener, and at the same time, I pull these chains, you see? And the wallop in the stable slaps the horse sparkly on the, uh, uh, well, whichever way he's standing. And he comes out onto the turntable. I know it. It's who's been walloping my porridge. <laughs> oh, very funny. Very funny. Yes, well, I said I was going to make an eye fire for the day, and I've done it. Now, uh, I go to the... Hey, hey, hey. Oh, no, you don't. You come back here. Come on. We're going to try this. Now, you ready? Go. The alarm rings. Down the pole. Out with the horse. Down with the turntable. Down with the shop. On with the harness. And out we go. They are shoved in half seconds. Mm. We made a smart getaway, didn't we? Yes. yes but we're still here. Uh, well, of course we're still here. I'm just trying to explain it to you, thickhead. I mean, I've been lying awake at night thinking how it could be done. Yes, and I've been lying awake at night thinking how I've been done. If you only let the picture bloke have that engine, I'd have had my tenor for now. Now, listen, once and for all, that engine's staying in my possession till I've had a chance of demonstrating my formula in London. Yes, and why wait for London? Why not have a fire here and tell London all about it? Oh, don't, don't, don't you understand? It's got to be a big fire. Something London's bound to hear about. Something that my invention can put out so quickly it'll be a sensation. There's nothing big enough here. Hey, where are you going? Yeah, I might never live to see a fire as big as that. Don't worry. You will where you're going in a few years' time. Oh! Oh, for me? Crap who's to pay? Huh? Crap who's to pay? What for? The stamps come off. Well, you don't expect me to pay for that, do you? Let me hide it just to get on. The crap who's to pay anyhow. Oh. Well, Albert? Sorry, money. I've got a ten pound note you can't have. Uh, well, well, you better leave the letter. We'll uh, pay tomorrow. Ten regulations. No money, no letter. Good evening. Uh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. That letter may be important. Well, it must have some change somewhere. Albert, turn out your pockets. Yeah, that's all I got. A penny. Right. Penny. Uh, let me see. Oh. Oh, there you are. There's a penny and there's an empty with toppers on it. Give me the letter. I suppose it's all right. Of uh, course it's all right. The toppers on it. It's legal tender. Well, we're very busy now. Good night, my man. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.
Look at this. Yeah, don't look right. You're turning too far. Uh, what day do we fall now? I'd like to pull his neck out. I told you it was a waste of time. It's the human element that set me down. Everything would have worked perfectly if it hadn't been for Dopey's grandfather. I say, I say. But do you know there's a fire? Get out of it. Go on, Alan, go on. Raise your hand. Go on. Sure. Of 
time. It's only five. I counted them. And then I shall put it to the vote. All those in favor? So we're dismissed, eh? I'm afraid so. Eh, well, what about our two weeks' money? Yes. We've always had that. Here, what about my thousand? You will hand in the key of the fire station. And tomorrow morning, the equipment will be checked. Oh. Uh, hello, yes? Speaking? My house? Yes. Oh, what about it? It's what? It's... God heavens! What's happened? My house on fire! Viking! Quick! Get out the engine! Uh, oh, me? Oh, no. Oh, my house is ablaze! Oh, I can't help that. I'm shacked. Oh, but you can't see my house burn to the ground. Can't oh, no. oh. Hey, let him have a go at it. He's clever about putting fires out. Yeah, and we'll go and watch it. <laughs> uh, oh, 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 look at the smoke. Look at it. <laughs> he better hurry. <laughs> He's going lovely, ain't he? <laughs> <laughs> Good Lord! The whole room's on fire. For my sake, man, you you must go. Uh, listen, we'll go on one condition. Yes, yes. You give us back our jobs. Oh, anything only. Hurry, hurry. Right there. We'll save fire brigade. Forward! Hurry, boys, make it snappy. Come on, boys. Okay, Tim. Well. Run up the back and let's get going. Right. Tim, quick, they're coming back. Come on. I don't want to hear it. Light the engine fire. Yes, but I... Don't you know what I say? Light the engine fire. I can't light the engine fire. Why not? Because there ain't no engine. Yes, what? That fire's done there. It's light. It's gone. Oh, oh. That is gone, too. Hey, who's been turning out our brigade? Oh, oh. What? Well, you don't know. Oh, it's from that tool company. Oh, yeah, listen. Thanks for the engine. And close here with the other ten pounds. Yes. Oh, thanks. Here, 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 here. That's mine. No, 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 never mind. There's no time to argue. Get away. We've got a fire to put out. Uh, what with the engine we haven't got? They can't take liberties like that with me. I'm going to phone that phone company and tell them to send it straight back. Fine. And order two ton of coal for the mayor's house while you're about it. Uh, hello? Uh, get me the film studios. Uh, eh? What? Oh. What's the name of the film company? Don't know. If I did, I wouldn't tell you. Yeah. Nothing on the letter, either. Uh, I should know the name of I heard it. What film studios have you got? Hmm? No, no, it's none of those. No. They let the senator came and called on me last Monday. I don't know his name, but he's a, he's a thin fellow with a bowler hat and a little moustache. No, no, not Charlie Chaplin. What's he say? Oh, he says the mayor's house is on fire. Oh. Well, we'd better start packing. What for? We haven't been sacked yet. No, the mayor said he'd give us another chance. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, that was before we gave him an illuminated address. Okay, you guys, get the shaft off this engine. Oh, I'll be a son of a gun. How did he get in here? He must be not all the time. Yeah, come on, I'll Come on, get out. All right, fellas, get the hand, get on and work fast. All right. I mean, I could have done with a bigger box, too. What do you want to take away all that junk for? Well, you don't think I'm going to leave it here for our successors, do you? Why not? They're no friends of ours. Yeah. Hey, it's quite enough of that from you, man. And that doesn't belong to you either. Hello? Yes, yeah, speaking. Uh, you what? <laughs> they found Percy. No, it's no use us coming to fetch him. You better keep him. Yeah, he's sacked the same as us. Where is he? Whooping Old Stairs Police Station. He's been pinched. Whooping Old Stairs? Blimey, that's in London. How'd he get there? Here. 
I think of the engine there and Percy followed it. Yeah. Listen, Inspector Hornley, what does it matter who's got it? We haven't got him and we haven't got a job either. Got a knife? That's another thing we haven't got. Oh, well, I've got a little gun feel in my pocket. And I know what's in those pockets, so don't try and knock anything off. Nothing worth knocking off. Hey, that's your foot, Mr. Pay letter. You haven't even known it yet. I'm not surprised. What were those two fires and you two fatheads have no time for anything? Yeah, it reminds me. I wonder how that fire's going on. Ah, oh, don't talk. Hey, listen to this. London Fire Brigade Headquarters. Dear sir, our analyst reports favorably on your formula. Could you be available to demonstrate here at 3 o'clock on the 15th? We are made. That'll teach you the slack out. 15th? Yes, tomorrow. You can't do it. Yeah, oh, why can't I do it? We haven't got an engine. No? Well, we've got all night to find it, and we're going to. Yes. Where did they say they had person? In Clink. I know that, but which Clink? I remember a place called Whacking Big Steps. A place called what? Whacking Big Steps. Whacking Big Steps. Whooping old stairs. Oh, Ah. Oh, dear. Oh, uh, hello. Is the, uh, is the fire out yet? Oh, yes, you will. Burn out. Arrest those men. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, it's clean. It's the white draft horse. Yes, he's got the hair on his ankle. Uh, and the the name of Percy. Yes, here it is. It was brought in at 5.45. Do you know when he was found if he had a fire engine on him or not? Don't try to be funny. Is this your horse or isn't it? Of course it's our horse. Well, there's five shillings to pay. Five shillings? I mean, do you have to bail him out? A shilling police fee and four shillings for his food. Blimey, what are you been giving him? Chicken? He's had two buckets of hay and chopped oats. Yes. Shop coach? Oh, you should give him sawdust. He doesn't know the difference. Look, you're wasting my time. Sign here, give me the five shillings and take the horse away. All right, well, where is he? He's tied up in the yard. What? Not in the toes of that cop of his? Oh! Hey, if that horse gets drunk, Titus, I'll report you to the RSPCA. There he is. If he's any amounting the golden horse. That's some daddy. That's some daddy. That's some daddy. Put your whiskers out of his mouth, will you? We've got work to do. Go on, I'm tired. Oh, I don't like it. Whoa, Percy! Whoa! Oh, good boy. Uh, Alice, where'd you leave the engine? Was it that way? Uh, well, was it that way? Uh, well, was it straight ahead? Uh, he don't know much, do he? No, but even that he knows more than you. Hey, I've got an idea. Let's shout fire and see which way he goes. Good. Fire! Fire! <laughs> Got any more bad ideas? Yeah, let's tie him up again and go back home. Oh, that woke him up. What did you do? Well, I only kicked that tin. Did you? Yeah. Now, look. When I shake this tin, we'll all shout fire, you see? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> Jim will cut the fire alarm wires which run along this wall of the tower. At midnight exactly, Len and Mike will be at this spot with our smoke box. Are they both set? Yes, they went in with the visitors this afternoon. The van will be here. As 12 strikes, you will pass in as the tower fire brigade. You will make straight for the jewel tower, leaving the engine here so as to block that open. Hank and Jim, you both know your job. Oh, yes, so well. well, that's all. The success of this plan depends on every move being timed to the split second. It's now 11.33 exactly. The van will leave here in four minutes, so get along. Ah. They're locked. Uh, what do we do now? Let's ring the bell and ask for our engine back. Don't be silly, we can't do that. We don't know if the engine's there. We've only got Percy's word for it. Let's look through a crack in the door. There ain't any crack. Yeah, I'll give you a bunk up, then you can climb over the top. Yeah. What, up there? Yeah. yeah. Well, suppose I sit on those spikes. Well, if you sit on them firmly, they won't hurt you. Yeah? Well, you try that. I'm going to try the wall. The tire's still here. Yeah, but there's no spikes. We'll never get over there. Oh, yes, we will. I'll bottle. Turn Percy round. Look, we'll, we'll get on the Percy's back, and then you two climb up on my shoulders, you see? Come on. Oh, Percy. Oh, boy. Oh, oh. 
Come on, let's make a start. I'll get up first, then you two get up on my shoulders, and when you both get the top, you pull me a bunk. Give me a bunk up. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. How do we get first here? How do we get Percy up? What on earth want to get Percy up for? And we can get down the other side. Uh, all right, all right. I'll bring Percy up under my arm. Here, take my helmet. All right. All right, then it's uh... Wait a minute. I'm coming up there. Now climb up onto my shoulders. Oh, all right, make your hand into a stick. Yes. What have I got to hang on with me, Keith? Let's how they do it to the surface. Yeah. I suppose you'd like me to jack a couple of others at the same time, would you? Go ahead, up you get, up you get. Keith's still up there. Easy. Yeah. 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 Oh, ah, ah, don't tickle me. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Unlock the gate. Okay, let's go. Smokes that dog on horse again. Come on, come on now, come on now, get out of here, come on, beat it, come on, come on, scram, get out of here, go on, beat it, beat it, on your way. Oh, I thought he hit his shoulder first, he's got to be down the street. I said I heard the catch of the roof. Uh, your brain's rattling, that's what he was. Now we don't know where we are. Cool, look, Windsor Castle. Yeah, Windsor Castle, Windsor Castle's in Scotland. That's the Tower of London, where the square word tower is. No, that's in Blackpool. Oh, yeah, I wish you were there with it, too. Oh, look, look, where is he? Oh, hey, where did you come from? Oh, I thought I heard him. Here, the engine can't be far away. Uh, didn't they say they were making an historical film? Yes. Yeah. Well, they're right, they're filming in the tower. Follow me. Oh, come, on, come on, boy. Come on, boy. Oh, who you go, Sam? Uh, uh, please don't back us in the horse. Vance, why don't you give the counter I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Go on, push off, I'll call the guard out. Up it, go on. Yeah, but... I'm sorry, I, I only wanted to ask if you... Uh, sorry, there you are. I only wanted to ask if you knew they were filming it. Now what are you doing to the man? Oh, shoot me. Uh, Benchy! Ah! Oh, I say, mister. Uh, right, right, right. Wait, ah! Just a minute, I, I don't interrupt your work. Mark uh, time! You know what you want? Uh, could you tell me if they're filming in there? Filming? Yeah, ask him about our engine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're looking for a fire engine like this. Have you seen it anywhere? Of course I have. It's in the West Bastion. All right. Eh? Right. In the West Bastion. Well, hear what he said. And now he asked him a civil question. Well, he told you he means one of those round fault things in the West Corner. Oh, is that what he meant? Oh, I see. Hey, there you are. Tower five again. Hey, perhaps they know something about it. Where? Yeah. Boys, let's go. 
Or is it better? Then get it right. <laughs> Let the signal along. The fire, look for yourself. Half a minute. Let the fire. Help. 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 I think she's gone to the I want to go and get it. Who's stopping you? Oh, come on. Come on, Betty. Can you see the camera? Let's go. 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 Let's go.
Inspector. All right. Hank Sullivan, eh? Getting ambitious, aren't you? Trying to get away with the crown jewel? We would have got away with them, too, if it hadn't been for this muck. Hey, what is it, anyway? Oh, whatever it is, it seems to have made a pretty good job of you, fellas. Just what I was thinking. I'd like to meet the men responsible for this. 